What's up, nerds? Welcome back. So, are y'all ready to meet the new Aquaman? Yeah, I know. Me neither. So just to get it out of the way, I don't hate this issue. I do think that this change of making Jackson Hyde Aquaman is unnecessary, kind of stupid. But I, for this story itself, I will actually say it's not so bad. So, I mean, we'll actually get into what we have here. But one thing I do want to note. <laughs> are y'all going to do this every time it's a gay character? Like, are you always going to put this little badge in the corner? You know what I mean? You don't have to. Stop this. Stop doing this. We don't We don't need you to slap rainbows on everything that's gay. Stop it. Just stop it. Anyway, so we go, we start out with this whole thing where it's like, it's giving us the impression that he's on Apocalypse. And right out of the gate, I can say, yeah, the art in here, awesome. It looks great. But so he's fighting against some of the parademons. And then we can see where... Uh, <laughs> he takes it down and Aquaman, the actual one, comes up and says, No, Jackson, it will take far more than blind rage to defeat what's in front of you. And he says, The League is down, Darkseid is, and it's only you left standing. So we can see this pretty nice shot where like the entire Justice League has been decimated and shit. And so he points over to another direction and he says, There's a mother box at the bottom of that ravine. I'll bring you it'll bring you back to Earth to warn of what's coming. At the bottom of the ravine is a lake. Stay in longer than a few minutes and the acid water burns through your skin. And the next swarm is here already. So he turns around, he's like, Come on, that's that's way too much, man. I can't do all that, Arthur. And he just looks at me, he's like, Aquaman can. So all right. Yeah, fair point. So that kind of gives him like the motivation to be like, all right, yeah, you know what? I got this. So as you can tell by now, this is basically just like a danger room type of thing. He's going to training simulation. So he takes off running as the parademons are like pursuing him and shit. So he uses one to kind of get leverage and then jumps directly into the ravine, into the acid water and shit. So we get this pretty nice shot or page, whatever, where he's just continually sinking down. You can see where they're still pursuing him and shit as he's getting closer and closer to the mother box. And so he manages to reach it, and then it says, Congratulations, Jackson Hyde. New high score achieved. Dark side is not. So he comes out and it says program end or whatever. So we can see this where he's in Atlantis, the well, Curry family training grotto, private. So he comes out wearing the little, like, tiara thing or whatever the hell it is that i'm assuming gives you like the actual visions when you're in the water or whatever so he comes out and then we see aquaman is standing there and he says how did we do this time but he tells him well the fake arthur is just as bad at pep talks as you are but i finally reached the box on the apocalypse campaign and so aquaman tells him well that's impressive you know that one is bruce's favorite to which he says yeah well he should come in here and run it then he's like he's batman jackson you really think he hasn't already eight million times and he's like all right good point so he goes and takes off the like crown thing or whatever goes and puts it back on this the dais and then he comes well he tells him and look i don't know a lot about kids but this training space pool whatever it might be a little too much for uh for andy even once she's old enough i know you want her to be ready on day one but he's like well they grow up fast jackson you blink and it's all over She'll be kicking the hell out of Darkseid in no time. And Jackson just tells him, like, I'd like to see that. So he says, just you wait. My little one is going to be the best there ever was. So Mara comes up and says, Arthur Curry, where are you supposed to be now? And so he's telling her, I haven't forgotten. I haven't forgotten. I'm off to meet Frankenstein on Mars shortly. Which is a weird sentence for anyone to say, except that in the DC universe, yes, Frankenstein is a thing. So my only question, though, is why are you meeting Frankenstein on Mars? You know what I mean? Did I miss something there? Please, if I miss something, someone let me know. But I'm like, why are you going to Mars of all places? <laughs> like, there's no water. Not that he needs water, but he kind of works best in it. You know what I mean? So anyway, he says, I will miss you terribly, milady. Good luck with your speech. And so she gives him a kiss or whatever. And then Jackson says, yeah, see, we are definitely getting way too comfortable around each other. To which Arthur fires back with, when I get back from Mars, the first thing we'll do is find you a new cute boy. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know any straight men who would ever say that. Not 
even the friendliest guy, the most accepting guy, is not going to be like, oh, don't worry, I'll help you find some dick. Like, that's not a thing. That is not a thing. That has never been a thing. <laughs> that, that, that should have been a throwaway line that should have been thrown away. Anyway, so he says, Arthur, this is exactly what I'm saying. I don't need help finding. And then so Mary gets in. He's like, another day, gentlemen. Jackson, ion showers. Arthur, you get to the teleporter. He's like, yes, yes, I'll see you both in a few days. I'll tell Frankenstein you said hello, too. So he tells them to be on their best behavior. And they're like, oh, yeah, of course. And then Jackson immediately points to it and is like, uh, what? It's all yours, Queen Mary. And she says, I have no idea what you're talking about, Jackson. And I'm no longer the queen. So he just says, you'll, you'll always be my queen. Sorry to run. I'm meeting mom for breakfast. Got a call with the Titans and some other random stuff to get into. So she's like, yeah, I'm right behind you. As she's still looking at the little crown thing or whatever. So we see where he flies off, well, flies off, he swims off, and then he's saying, like, goodbye to the other people. He comes back up to Amnesty Bay. So pretty nice shot. Again, like I said, I don't hate this story. It does bother me that they're trying to make him, like, the new Aquaman. Just just give him a, a different identity, you know what I mean? Like, he's a cool character, and this is a pretty good story. You didn't have to name him Aquaman for it to sell, or for people to want to read it, you know what I mean? Just give him his own identity it's not that goddamn hard anyway and so he comes up onto land and he's talking to all the people who know him and this is what's kind of weird to me there's a guy who's like hey hey what's up jay hyde like why do they know your full name that's just kind of weird anyway he says man trying to be like you and everything so he goes to meet his mom and we can see where he's like being watched through these like goggles or whatever which this is kind of looks like the type of thing you use for night vision but it's the middle of the day so i don't know why they have to have the green tint on there anyway he comes in he meets his mom and then he sits down with her to eat and everything he's a she's asking him like did you sleep okay he's like yeah you know me you she says you know me is arthur on mars yet he says yeah i'm out front for the next few days mara is around if i need a hand but she's like you'll be fine everyone trusts you for a reason so he sits down and he's is it her? Yeah. He says, new book. And she's like, new show. And don't change the subject, Jackson. He's like, let me show you something real quick. Someone got great footage of me and Arthur fighting the fisherman. And I wanted to just like, Jackson, I don't like the fighting. He says, I know, I know. It's not bad, though. I only got tagged a couple little times. And there's this really cool bit near the end when we and then their waiter comes up and says, you guys ready to order? And we get this thing where I guess he was just immediately starstruck. Because he's like, yeah, I think we're ready or whatever. Yeah, I think we... And then he guts off. Because he's like, oh, sorry. Sorry, I didn't see you there, uh, Davy. I'm assuming he pronounced it Davy. And then he corrected him by saying it's pronounced Davi, probably. And uh, <laughs> just to make a quick little note. I gave this comic to my boyfriend to read. He likes like aquatic stuff and like Aquaman and shit like that. But that wasn't the reason why I gave it to him. I gave it to him because I was like, yeah, it has the introduction of who I'm pretty sure is going to be his boyfriend. And he looks suspiciously like mine. So that's why I gave it to him. Because even when he saw it, he was like, yeah, it does kind of look like me. <laughs> oh, God. So anyway, he's like, oh, I know who you are or whatever. And then he tells them, like, oh, cool. Um, So you're new to the bay then? I mean, I figured because I think I've met every... And then his mom's like, Jackson. And he says, oh, yeah, sorry. Did I say that already? Right. I'll have the amnesty omelet with extra bacon and home fries. And Ma wants... And he couldn't remember. He's like, wow, what does she want? What does anyone want, really? There's so many... <laughs> And his mom cuts him off and says, I'll have the Texas French toast and a large orange juice, please. Good to meet you, Davi. And he's like, coming right up and likewise. So he walks away and then Jackson's mom just gives him this look like, the hell's the matter with you? So he's like, it's not funny. She says, I didn't say anything. He says, I can feel you laughing at me, Ma. She's like, you sure that's what you feel? He says, okay, I quit. And he gives her a look and she's like, okay, I quit, I quit. So I think this is the only thing. When I gave it to my boyfriend, he was like, the art was pretty good. He was like, there was just one part when he was talking to his mom that, like, the way his face is drawn kind of bothered me, and I'm pretty sure it was this one. So, she's saying, like, now what's this weird fight video that thing you're just determined to show me? But right at that moment, they see police speeding by, so he's like, well, I gotta go and help out with whatever's going on. So she's like, alright, just don't let them hit you. And he's like, I won't, I'll call later. 
So he jumps onto the thing, onto the cop car and speeds off. And then Davi comes back with their drinks. He's like, I thought I heard, wow, what's happening? And she says, not sure, but Jackson will get it right. So Davi, and then she has this look where she almost looks pissed off at him. This is another thing my boyfriend pointed out to me. He was like, I don't know why she all of a sudden started interrogating him. Like that just kind of came out of nowhere. So she's saying, we can both stop pretending now. What's your interest in my son? And don't lie. I always know when the boys tell lies. I was like, damn, he's probably going to quit now, girl. What are you doing? Anyway, so Jackson shows up to the scene of the crime and he's saying, hey, Dwayne, anything I can do? But Dwayne is saying, I think we got it under control, Jackson. Negotiator just made contact and turns out he's one of yours. Some guy named Vic Bragg used to be a champion swimmer before he turned to crime. Still ain't figured out how to hire a getaway driver who won't pull off without him. <laughs> that sucks. And anyway, he says Vic calls himself the human flying fish now. So <laughs> then we get this thing where apparently the Teen Titans are on a Zoom call together. You know, they're on there talking about it and Kid Flash is saying, so wait a minute, this guy's name is what now? Beast Boy says the human flying fish. That's what he said like 45 minutes ago. Check it out. Might be late to the chat. Human flying fish robbing bank shot hostage. Be there soon. J.H. So I don't know where, where did he, was that on Twitter? What? what? Late to the chat. Like, was he in a live stream and then he was just decided to go on the chat of someone who's live streaming to tell them like, yo, I'm doing, I don't know. Anyway, so... Kid Flash says, so these are the kinds of, yeah, the kinds of bad guys Jackson ditched us to go chase around. That doesn't even sound like a real thing, but Raven tells him, yes, it is. I looked it up and he is a real guy. I'm sending you the link. And then Starfire says, if Jackson does not arrive in the next five minutes, I will be leaving. I have much to do as head mistress, as do all of you. But Kid Flash tells her like, whoa, I'm just an instructor in training or whatever. So he's like, whoa, look at that. Fish Flyer is a real guy. So Raven's like, yeah, I told you. So that's when Jackson finally decides to hop on the call. And he's like telling them, hey guys, you still there? Hello? And they say, yeah, we're here, man. Everything okay? What happened with the fish crime guy? He's like, well... Apparently he just went up and kicked him in the face and they, I guess their celebration, celebratory statement or phrase is to say Titans together, which is kind of a goofy thing to do. Anyway, I could understand them saying that, I guess when they're going into battle, that might be, you know, as of like a battle cry. All right. Seven out of 10, but them just saying it to be like, yeah, you rock. We did it. Just Titans together. Oh God. Y'all are corny. So he goes over to like the victim or whatever, and, or one of the victims, and so he's telling her like, are you okay and everything, but she says, I saw that man get shot, there was all this blood, and then, can you stay with me, Mr. Hyde, until I'm not afraid anymore, and that's why I'm saying, like, them knowing your name and calling you your actual name as opposed to any kind of superhero name, they're, they don't even call him Aquaman, so I mean, I don't, I don't know. Anyway, so we see this thing where he's still being watched, and they're like, oh, isn't that sweet, so... He actually, like, stays with her, and I think he goes and buys her food, and then ends up, like, taking her home. So, he does all of that, and then says, no, no, this has only convinced me even more. This is what needs to happen. I'll let you know when I'm in position. So, this is whoever's watching him, that's who's talking. So, he comes back to the, the, the well, the training area, and he says, load Aqualad profile and synchronize favorite programs. Start trench campaign intensity low. So, it's like, initiating, welcome back, Jackson Hyde. And then he hears a voice say, yes, Jackson, welcome home. Just look at you. Loved, respected, protected. I've been watching you all day. A man who has everything and deserves nothing. There's no appreciation in you, Jackson. Never stopping to look around at your perfect little life and ask the one question that matters. Why did you get everything you ever wanted? So he tells him, like, got a suit to protect you from the nanotech? You must be a smart one. Let's see how much. So again, like, the art in here, all just done nicely. I do like the way it looks, all of this. So he comes charging at him. He's like, smart enough to know some boy from Zabel will never be Aquaman. So he says, never say never. And I already got more than enough for you. So we kind of get this like mini fight scene. And then the dude's like telling him like, are you sure about that? So he tells, he's like breathing heavy and shit. He ends up like kicking Jackson into the water where he explodes, I guess some like underwater charges or whatever the hell. And that causes this whole tower to explode. So Jackson's pulling himself out of it and says, look out, someone is in here because he thinks he sees Mara. And then he's like, it was someone in a suit, looked like Atlantis tech, but he immediately gets like stabbed in the stomach, I think. 
And then he says, it's me, Chess. What the hell, man? He's getting away. It's me, guys. It's just... And then they, like, restrain him and say, Jackson Hyde, you are under arrest for terrorist crimes against the Atlantean state. Surrender yourself or die. So that's where he's completely surrounded. And that's where we actually leave off for right now. So I don't I don't know. We'll see what, what comes from that. I mean, like I said, overall, the story was pretty good. It was serviceable. It wasn't perfect by any means it, it had some you know just wonky things in there but overall it was serviceable and i i'll probably end up picking the rest of this up if not for myself probably to make my boyfriend read it and then he can just give me his thoughts on it if he wants but i mean i i don't know i don't know what else to come from like i said he doesn't even seem to be going by the name aquaman yet and yet that's the name of like the book i get it like it's called the becoming because he's going to be becoming aquaman but it just, it doesn't fit. Like, I don't, I don't see it. I don't see him and think, oh, that's Aquaman. Even though he has, like, the symbol on his belt or whatever. It's, I still don't get it. I still don't buy it. Well, obviously I bought it, but that wasn't the reason why I wanted to actually read the story. And when I was looking through and I was like, all right, you know what? The art's actually pretty good. I, I'll, I'll check it out. I'll see what's, what's going on in here. And it was straightforward enough as like an action story but then it also kind of had like the romantic angle i'm not against seeing like you know a gay character <laughs> i do think that some of the way that they handle it is a little too heavy-handed sometimes like y'all try too damn hard you know what i mean calm down just calm down i know everybody's trying to like reinvent the wheel because now that we're doing like queer love stories and not just straightforward hetero stories we want to like really sell it calm down all right we're not going anywhere so it's not like we need to try and get as much in before they like come and force us out no we're not going anywhere gay people exist we're not going anywhere we're in the industry we're not going anywhere so calm down all right stop being so heavy-handed you can be a little more light a lighter touch with this stuff so i hope to see that going forward i hope to see a little bit of a lighter touch and maybe for his mom to kind of like calm down because Girl, if you think you're helping him out, you're going to chase away more men than he will ever end up with. And in some ways that might be better, but you don't want to be the one interfering in your kid's relationships. That's just general life advice. Take it for whatever you will. But anyway, that's going to do it for me on this review of Aquaman. So, I mean, if anybody out there picked this up and read it, do feel free to let me know what you think about it. Where do you think this is going to go? I don't really know. Who do you think the villain is? Any of that. Why do you think Aquaman is going to Mars to be with Frankenstein? Please let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. But I think that's going to do it for me here. So yes, if you enjoyed this video, then definitely make sure to like the video, subscribe, share it if you would like. I do appreciate it. And if you're done here, then go and read a book. Maybe this one if it seems enticing to you. But if not, then I will see you on my next video.